All right, guys, it is um, Christmas Eve. Hee <laughs> hee! Santa's coming soon. Um, what am I doing? Right, yeah, so, cylinder head time. I thought I'd get some old bits out to show you, because it's just funny. That's the old uh, uh, carburetor in that exhaust manifold for the, um, the baby Austin in there in the dark, you just see her bum uh, that's the inlet manifold that's going on and that's the exhaust manifold that's going on um, if I show you the difference it's probably the easiest way talk about being choked to death And the exhaust exhausts aren't too bad actually, but so there we go. So we should get it get it a um, little bit a as, little bit less asthmatic. I think these um, I've read lots and lots of books. I'm going to need um, Ziggy's help on this one. There's a bloke called uh, Russell, and I can't remember his name first name Russell or last name Russell in uh, in. Um, Australia, and there's a man called uh, David Vizard that come from the UK, now lives in America, I believe, um, who are the experts, well, I believe anyway, at um, tuning these A series engines. Um, there's a lot of controversy, I suppose the word is, about or question about which one's the best one, but I think if you take a combined overview of both of their knowledge you should end up with a real whizzy um, engine anyway um, so this engine one the, I've got the, the David Vizard book and it uh, um, it tells you how to tune um, A series engines for um, economy or for uh, all out racing and um, Obviously, you don't. This is going to be a road car for Mary to use, um, probably daily, I think. And um, so I'm going on the lines of uh, bottom end torque rather than all out um, high revs, etc., etc. So not excited about um, doing having too much with the block, as you, you've seen. It's got fairly standard piston, standard crank. Um, it's only when I start getting to the camshaft do I start making any real difference. Um, I want to check, because I've had some real funny successes or non-successes on eBay lately, I'm going to check the uh, cam timing so I can confirm it is the cam I'm supposed to have. Not a lot I can do about it afterwards if, I, if it isn't, but uh, um, just so I know where I am. There are markings on the cams that are supposed to tell you um, to help you identify them. And I've done that, and that's where I've come up with the, the cam that I've got. So, anyway, today, and uh, until I've got it finished anyway, I don't know how long it's going to take, it's going to be about um, getting these ports to match, and um, getting all the nasty, sh there's some real sharp bits in the casting. I don't know if you can see any or not, let's look at my torch. Little lumps and bumps inside the. You can see that there's a real there's real lumps and bumps inside. They're just real roughly cast. So I'm going to be um, getting my little Dremel out with an extension on it and uh, getting there cleaning all that up. And then uh, once that's done, it can go get fitted and we'll nearly nearly be there. Okay, guys, catch up with you later. I've just um, bolted the manifolds onto the head and uh, the next step is to drill it. I want to keep the location of the gasket relative to the manifolds and head together so that um, I can get a smooth exit and, in and inlet. <coughs> so drill through manifold gasket into the head so that when I take the manifolds off I've got a 
a position. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so I've um, drilled through the manifolds and the gasket in the head, so I'm going to be. Um, I can peg it so I can now mark it accurately and I can check them against each other and I mean even with uh, with a bolt in you still get a fair bit of um, movement on the gasket so as you can see so you can um, so that's why it's pinned anyway so you can you can give it a fixed point and when you put it uh, when you do your well I'm basically going to be marking round these now I'll do this whilst I'm holding this camera here and then so I'm basically going to be marking round it to know um, where to take the material off and out to and then the um, same on the uh, exhaust we'll have uh, unhindered basically we'll have unhindered um, travel so if you can see not a lot to come out but there is on the exhaust there a fair bit to come off look so we'll get set to uh, get on with them with the Dremel and cleaning them up and get rid of all the burrs I'm not going for a big old um, several days worth of uh, porting and flowing I should try and get them as close as I can and then that'll be um, we'll be there all right so that's next I'll tell you one thing, you can see why these uh, high performance heads cost a lot. You can see why high performance heads cost a lot of money. The labour that goes into this is mad. Such a little comes off at uh, all the time. Anyway, I've got um, basically a flexible shaft coming out of my um, little cheapy drill press for the heavy duty stuff. And um, turn it off. And a little Dremel there, uh, well, generic Dremel, if you don't want to call it that. With another shaft um, with uh, the little um, oh, sorry um, carbide bits. So that's what we're up to. Getting close with that one. So um, nearly there. A few more millimeters, and then. Um, for more today, this side. Okay, that's uh, they roughed out to size. Just got to polish them now. So, get in there. Well, guys, I'll just check the um, combustion chamber volume on these. And they're all within a sort of a milliliter of each other. No, less than a minute earlier. A lot of gradients these are in half a milliliter of each other. I think quarter of a milliliter of each other. Um, and it's telling me I've got 22 milliliters of chamber volume, which my conversion tells me it's 22 centimeters. Uh, cubic centimeters and the book of knowledge tells me that um, the head that I've got which is that one 
12G202 fitted to my 97 Coopers blah 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 um, standard chamber volume of 26.1 so it's definitely had some skimming so I'm not going to go any more than that I've just got to work out what the compression ratio is going to be because I don't want to kill the bottom end it's not a racer I don't want to be rebuilding it every time it goes out um, I've got 13 thou or 13 thousandths an inch um, deck height and I'll check across there And there's six cc piston dishes, so I should better with all the information that's um, about there. I should better work out the compression ratio, hopefully. Okay, guys.